According to the NHTSA, people waste tens of billions of dollars yearly on unnecessary car repairs. One reason for this waste is not knowing how to reset the throttle position sensor. In this video, I'll show you five easy ways to reset the TPS. I'll also share a very important maintenance tip at the end. Method 1. Perform a basic ignition reset of the throttle position sensor. One of the best ways to reset the throttle position sensor is also the cheapest. If you've been experiencing the symptoms of a faulty TPS, but the check engine light isn't showing, this is the method to use. You don't need any special diagnostic tools, and this method works for most modern cars. A basic ignition reset is also called a manual reset, or TPS relearn procedure. It takes just seven minutes and anyone can do it. First, park your car on a level surface, pull the handbrake and switch off the engine. Next, you're going to turn the key to the on position, but don't start the car. The dashboard will light up and show a bunch of things, including the check engine light, but ignore them. The third step is to depress the accelerator slowly. It should take three to four seconds to push it down to the floor. Hold it down for about three seconds, then slowly lift your foot off. This should take another four seconds. You're going to repeat this process two or three times. After the fourth press, leave the ignition in the on position for another 30 seconds. Remember that it should have been in that position the entire time. This process will cause the ECU to relearn the TPS settings. Switch off the ignition and wait for a few seconds. Finally, start the engine and let it idle for about five minutes. If the car is idling smoother than before, it's time to take it for a test drive. Pay attention to the throttle response, engine sounds, and any problems that were there before. If everything is back to normal, it means the reset worked. This method works like a charm, and most drivers never use any other method. However, if the check engine light is showing, the best method to use is the next one. Before we dive into the next method, if you're new here, subscribe. I'll give you a second. All set? Great. Let's keep rolling. Method 2. Reset the throttle position sensor using a diagnostic tool. If your car has an advanced system and it is showing a TPS error code, this method will sort it out you're going to need an advanced OBD2 scanner for this one. Not every scanner can reset the TPS, so make sure yours can. Otherwise, click the link in the description for the one we recommend. Foxwell Scanner ah, NT809. As with the first method, you need to park the car on a level surface with the handbrake engaged. Next, locate the OBD2 port in your car, which is usually under the dashboard. Plug in the scanner and turn the ignition to the on position, but don't start the engine. This will enable the OBD2 scanner to access the car's ECU. Next, look for TPS reset or throttle position sensor in the OBD2 menu. It might also be labeled as accelerator pedal position reset or idle relearn. Follow the instructions on the screen. The scanner might instruct you to carry out the first method or some variation of it ensure that you follow the instructions exactly. Once you're done, switch off the car and remove the scanner. The reset should be complete and it's time for a test drive. At this point, the check engine light should be gone. If it is and the car is moving smoothly, that's all you have to do. If the check engine light is still showing, the TPS might be damaged and need to be replaced. However, don't replace the TPS until you've tried the final method we're going to share. Method three, reset the throttle position sensor using the battery disconnection method. If you don't have an advanced OBD2 scanner and the first method didn't work, this is what you should try next. As usual, park your car securely on a flat surface, switch off the engine and take the key out of the ignition. Next, use a wrench to disconnect the negative terminal of the battery. That's the side with a black cable cover. You can also identify it by the negative sign on top of it. When you unplug it, ensure the metal part of the terminal doesn't touch anything else. It will usually fit snugly right next to the body of the battery. You're going to leave the battery disconnected for 5 to 10 minutes. This process will clear out the ECU memory. Next, reconnect the negative terminal 
and switch the ignition to the on position, but don't start it. The dashboard will light up and this process will give the ECU time to recalibrate. After 30 seconds, start the car and let it idle for 5 minutes. If the car isn't idling smoothly, repeat the first method. But if it is, take it for a test drive and everything should be great. If the battery disconnect doesn't reset the TPS, it's time to pull out the big guns. Method 4. Throttle Position Sensor Reprogramming If you have replaced the throttle body recently, the previous methods won't work. They also might not work if the TPS is in very bad shape. That means your car has had sluggish acceleration, rough idling, and terrible fuel economy for months. In this case, you might need a more technical approach. However, even severe TPS problems can be fixed by the first method, so you should try that first. TPS reprogramming is a delicate method that requires a bit of time and patience. If you don't stick to the timeframes, you might have to start the process all over again. Also, do not touch the pedal at any point until it's time for the test drive at the end. Before you begin, ensure that your car battery is in good condition. You can test it with a multimeter or a voltmeter. If the battery is still new, you don't need to test it. With that out of the way, park your car securely and switch off the engine. Give the engine a bit of time to cool off before you proceed. Five minutes should suffice. Next, disconnect the negative terminal of the battery, as explained earlier. After two minutes, reconnect the terminal. Leave the hood open and turn the ignition to the on position. Don't put the engine on just yet. Next, stand at the front of the car and listen for a soft buzzing sound from the throttle body. The buzzing means that the throttle is being reprogrammed and is learning its position. This sound should stop after about 3 to 5 minutes. Once it does, close the hood and go back into the car. Switch off the engine and remove the key from the ignition. After a minute or two, you can start the engine. Let the engine idle for about 10 to 15 minutes. This will give the throttle time to fully reprogram. Now you're ready to take the car for a gentle spin. Give the car a bit of time to warm up before you push it. If this method doesn't work, it means the TPS is in a worse state than expected. But don't worry, we still have one more trick up our sleeves. Method 5. Remove and clean the throttle position sensor. There are three reasons why none of the previous methods worked. The first is that the TPS has failed and needs replacing. The second is that it is too dirty to respond properly. The third reason is that there was nothing wrong with the TPS in the first place, and the fault is somewhere else. Before you try to replace the TPS or diagnose something else, see if this method works. For this, you're going to need throttle body cleaner, a rag, and a screwdriver. The first step is, you guessed it, to park the car securely on a level surface. Then you're going to disconnect the negative terminal of the battery. Next, you need to locate the throttle position sensor. It's usually on the side of the throttle body, which itself is on the intake manifold. Once you've located it, disconnect the electrical connectors. Next, carefully unscrew the TPS and remove it gently. You don't want to drop the TPS and get it even dirtier. Next, spray the throttle body cleaner on the TPS and a rag. Only use a small amount of the spray because we don't want it to be too wet. Wipe the TPS clean with the rag. Depending on the car and design of the TPS, you might also need a cotton swab for hard to reach areas. With that done, you're ready to reinstall the TPS. Put the screws on tight and plug in the electrical connectors. Reinstall the negative terminal of the battery and close the hood. Start the engine and let it idle for a few minutes. If it is purring like a kitten, test it to ensure everything is fine. Now you've learned how to reset the throttle position sensor, it's time for the bonus tip I promised. If you want to keep your car running smoothly, you need to clean the throttle body and TPS every 60,000 to 100,000 miles. In some cars, you need to do it more often, so consult the manual. You want to keep the throttle body free from dirt, grime, and carbon buildup. Otherwise, airflow will be restricted, 
and the car's performance will dip. If you liked this video, like and leave a comment below. And if you want more car maintenance hacks, subscribe to our channel.